Hey guys. Okay, so sorry about the delay in getting this uh, video review done. It's been a topsy-turvy week. Quite harrowing, I have to say. Um, being quarantined here in Brooklyn and, and just surreal. But anyway, I'm keeping myself occupied. Um, obviously, working on skincare product reviews. And I thought, you know, over the last two weeks that it would be super cool to do an update of my, um, my vitamin C uh, article from last fall when I talked about my favorite uh, vitamin C picks of the year. So of course I'm constantly trying new vitamin C products and I, I probably have 10 or 12 of them like all over the place in the Skin Karma vault um, on, the on the kitchen counter, there's product everywhere. And so I came up with five or kind of like, I guess like, like when the gnocchi's done, it rises to the surface um, of the water, the boiling water. So these five vitamin C products rose to the surface and I was like, whoa, these are the best of the best that I've discovered in the last few weeks, few months actually, since the fall. Um, so I'm going to take you through those one at a time. Um, and you know, honestly, what better way to kill time than to talk about vitamin C products. And I hope you'll, you'll, um, enjoy my blog article this week on my new five vitamin C picks at skinkarma.com. So I, again, I've been keeping myself busy. I've been baking. I've been perfecting a cookie recipe. I like literally learned, I personally cannot stand soft cookies. I like my cookies like not hard, but firmer, like a biscotti, like one end of the scale, like super firm and crunchy. Um, when I was growing up, my favorite cookies were Oreo cookies and Chips Ahoy, and both of those are kind of uh, hard cookies. And so uh, I guess it must have been two weeks ago now, or, or around, I mean, it's all a blur, um, where I made lemon cookies. I baked cookies for the first time in my life, like from scratch, and I made lemon cookies and they came out perfect. And it was only when I messed up the second batch, when the second batch came out too soft, and the reason that I, that I realized why, um, the first batch I had let sit out all night so they kind of got firmer, and the second batch um, I had put into a Tupperware container and put them on top of the refrigerator. And so all that moisture kind of stayed with the cookies and they just, ended up being soft, which I don't love. Um, and so I'm, I've been baking and I made, look at this, I made these beautiful, are they beautiful? Vanilla coconut, this is coconut dust. Um, these beautiful vanilla coconut cookies yesterday. I'm gonna bake bread this week. Like I'm just having, and you know, if you, if you, if you follow my personal page, you know I made pasta over the weekend. And so I used someone else's recipe and I don't love it. And so I'm gonna do it over and I'm just gonna do it the way I know how to do it. Um, but anyway, enough of all of that. Let's talk about vitamin C serums, talk about the vitamin C products that have risen to the surface. Um, so I wanna get started with what is declared to be the most potent vitamin C in the world. This is from the brand Allies of Skin. I've talked a couple times about Allies of Skin. I'm a particular fan of their amino acid cleanser. That silver tube is phenomenal. Um, and equally phenomenal is this Allies of Skin 35% vitamin C collagen rebuilding serum. So Allies, Allies of Skin claims that this is the most potent vitamin C in the world. And honestly, I can't dispute that. I've never come across a vitamin C product um, that had a 35% concentration. So. Uh, 35%, 25% of it is ethylated ascorbic acid, which is the closest to pure ascorbic acid. Um, really, really potent. 10% uh, of it is te tetrahexyl decal. I always get that twisted. Te tetrahexyl decal um, ascorbate, 10%. Um, That's a, a, both are oil soluble uh, THD is um, actually ha has a very high fatty acid content that has a terrific affinity with the skin. Um, so 
35%. I mean, that's a lot, guys, right? Check it out. You see how it's uh, pretty much just clear with a slight, a slight, I mean, it's not completely clear, but you want to take note. I talk about this all the time. You want to take note of the color of the formula when you first try it. So this is on record now. It's kind of clear because if it oxidizes, you'll know later on that it's shifted in color. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, but this has an, it's, it's an oil-based vitamin C. These are my favorite. I love vitamin C's that are in an oil base. I just, I love the feel on my skin. I, I just love the whole application of it. I love the formulas are, are very often more stable. Vitamin C despises water. Um, and so this Allies of Skin 35% vitamin C is, is really a, a terrific formula. It's a, it's, it's, seriously power packed with antioxidants. So in addition to the two anti antioxidant vitamin C forms, um, there's also glutathione and superoxide dismutase, which is an antioxidant that's naturally found in the skin. So you always wanna look for ingredients um, that are biocompatible. They're either similar in molecular structure or they're already found in the skin. and and because of that, your skin recognizes them and allows them to get to work. So this is, yes, perhaps the most potent vitamin C uh, serum in the world, right here in my hand, um, but it's also a really fantastic antioxidant serum, really good stuff. It comes at a, a price though, that's 118 bucks. Um, of course, you just need a little tiny bit of this, don't need a lot of, a lot of vitamin C on your skin. Um, I actually, I didn't use this one this morning, but you can see I have a little bit of a red tint to my skin, um, a red hue, and that's because of the vitamin C. That'll, that'll dissipate. But you know, it just begs the question, do you need 35% vitamin C? If that's what you think your skin needs, go for it. You know, it's just, do you need one delicious, vanilla coconut cookie or do you need three look at that look at that oh my god it tastes like it tastes like a condensed cupcake and i'm really missing cupcakes right now for some reason i can't seem to get cupcakes but anyway you know what that means i'm just gonna have to bake them so here we go you might also, know, you, the ethylated, ethylated uh, ascorbic acid might be familiar to you because it's, um, it's in the Ordinary's ethylated ascorbate, uh, ascorbic acid 15% uh, solution. Uh, this is 18, this is 118. Um, and I declared this to be one of the best vitamin C products in the world in my blog article last year. So if it's familiar, that's why. Good stuff, seriously good stuff, and it better be at that price. Um, next, I want to introduce you to perhaps the vitamin C product that I'm most excited about, and this one is from my favorite Korean skincare brand, Purito. God, I love this stuff. It, Purito, if you don't know, is clean, natural, a lot of organic ingredients, um, so this is a, this is the, the interesting thing is you look at, you look at vitamin C products as either water, water, water-based or oil-based, water-free, waterless, whatever. So are they based in water? Are they, are they a, are they a water-based product or are they an oil-based product, right? This one is essentially an oil-based product. However, the first ingredient isn't water. It's, um, uh, I think it's called, so they called it sodium hyaluronate liquid or hyaluronic acid liquid, which is essentially sodium hyaluronate solved, dissolved in, um, which is a powder, dissolved in water. So they created this substance that they call hyaluronic acid liquid, which is essentially water. Um, that's 84% of the formula. 84% of the formula is comprised of that sodium hyaluronate liquid. Um, it's a relatively conservative uh, vitamin C at 5%, and it's 
And I like that because there's a lot of people out there, and you may be one, who don't use vitamin C because you don't like how, what, you know, how, how your skin reacts with it. This has, you can feel it. It's got this very unusual watery, oily, if that's possible, it's a water oil texture to it. And that's that, that uh, hyaluronic acid liquid going on. So 5% vitamin C, if your skin doesn't tolerate vitamin C well, my goodness, this is, this is the option you want to go for. It is $18.90. It's got the 84% hyaluronic acid, um, which is a phenomenal amount of humectant for your skin. 5% um, vitamin C, so what's that? 89%. So the, the other 11% is just a blend of uh, antioxidant botanicals. There's niacinamide, there's Panax ginseng extract, there's amino acids. It's a really terrific formula and it's all natural. Bravo, Purito. You guys know I love you and this is amazing. This is, in my opinion, from what I can tell, the first vitamin C product from a K-Beauty or Korean skincare brand. Um, there is another uh, Korean brand, KazRx, created this uh, Triple C Lightning Liquid in conjunction with US-based uh, Korean-American online K-Beauty Emporium Soko Glam. So this was created for the US market um, in collaboration with a US brand. Um, so in my opinion, this that makes this the first um, vitamin C serum from a Korean skincare brand. Dedicated vitamin C and vitamin C from a Korean skincare brand. But what's very interesting about this product, and I really do love this formula, but look, it's oxidized. You see it? You see how deep the orange is? It definitely wasn't this color before. So we don't love that. It's just, it's just you know, these products that are in, in bottles like this, you see the orifice, how big that is? Yeah, the product, the bottle itself is opaque. This dark, is that black? I don't know if it's black or dark brown but all of the air that has gotten through that orifice every time you open the bottle, every time I've opened the bottle, has served to oxidize it. So I can't use this anymore, sadly. It's just, it's a bummer, um, but it is what it is, you know? A lot of harsh reality going on today. Good stuff, especially if you have low tolerance for vitamin C. That's just, that stuff's just the bomb. Um, next is by a relatively new brand to me. I'd never heard of Skin Diva before. Um, I've tried, been using their uh, Giroline, um serum around my eyes. I love to use a Giroline, a Giroline around my eyes. Um, it's the, 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 their, their serum is really um, kind of silky. It's a water-based, like a very, very, very light gel. Um, and their their vitamin c is kind of a phenomenal formula guys it's a uh, 20 percent vitamin c in the form of ascorbic acid it's got ferulic and vitamin e in it ferulic and vitamin e ferulic i joke quite often is vitamin c's bff um both but particularly ferulic keep the vitamin c uh stable vitamin c always wants to freak out in the presence of air, it wants to freak out in the presence of light, it freaks out in the presence of water, it's just super sensitive. Um, and so what cracks me, about, cracks me up about this product is it's $24.99, it's 20% pure ascorbic acid, ferulic, and vitamin E. And what does that remind you of? The OG. I'm not gonna come out and say that it's a dupe, but honestly, $24.99, $166, it's your choice. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Again, you see, you see the color of it? About the same, the same color as the, um, the others. It's nice. It's a it's an oil base. It has an oil an oil feel to it. It's very light. 
obviously super affordable, good stuff. I mean, seriously. So Skin Diva is a US-based brand. They have a lot of like clinical grade and the products all look clinical. They have a lot of clinical grade um, treatments on their site. You should check it out. I think it's skin, skindiva.com or, or even Google it or just use the link um, below in my comments on, on, um, on the video. The links are also always um, in my blog. So really good stuff. Is it a D-U-P-E? Not gonna, not gonna go there. But I do have to give, I mean, I have to give, you know, credit where credit's due. I mean, this is the first really outstanding, high potency, stabilized vitamin C on the market, like from forever ago, right? It's the OG for a reason. And you know what? SkinCeuticals campaigned, I guess, with the National Registry to declare April 4th um, National Vitamin C Day. And April 4th is this coming weekend, Saturday. So happy National Vitamin C Day. Thank you, SkinCeuticals. Love that. Next. Next, I'm going to say that this vitamin C serum is the benchmark for vitamin Cs. I love this stuff. It's from Ghost Democracy. You see how much I love it? It's half gone. That's how much I love it. I love the texture of it. I love the potency. It's 18%, uh, I can't remember. Oh, it's 18% THD. Uh, so again, THD, te tetrahexyldecyl ascorbate has a high fatty acid content and skin loves fatty acids. Fatty acids exist in the skin already. Again, biocompatibility is so important. It's, it's just, I don't know, like I, I admitted in my, in my blog this week that the first time I tried it, I had, it was like a Friday night, I had a pizza, I had been, you know, taking hits off the vape, so I was high, and I was like, whoa, this stuff, this, it's like Nirvana, it's Nirvana, it's Nirvana. So this is a, it's a dry oil, it's just a combination of many things that I love in a skincare product. I love dry oils. Yeah, this, the back of this hand, is the back of this hand like brighter <laughs> than the other one? I mean, all these vitamin C products go on the back of this hand. I was doing this when I was writing the blog too. I'm like, oh my God, the back of this hand, like that should be proof. Are there any age spots? Are there any age spots on this hand? Um, but seriously, and so I got up the next morning, you know, the day after, and, it, you know, I had, I had, I obviously had it, and I remembered, oh my God, I used that for the first time last night. The Ghost Democracy Light Bulb Vitamin C Serum is like Nirvana. Is it really Nirvana? You know, you always have like these profound thoughts, or you think something is the funniest thing you have ever heard in your life. And then the next day, when, you know, the high wears off, none of that is true anymore. And it is, it's Nirvana in a bottle. It's, it remains Nirvana in the bottle. I can't, I can't like deny that. It's also got vitamin E, it's got ferulic in it, and they took it up a notch. It has one half percent, one half of 1%, 0.5% bakuchiol. So there's an even uh, additional anti-aging benefit in this baby. I love this brand. They have such terrific products, guys. If you haven't checked out Ghost Democracy, you gotta. Um, head over to the blog, skincarma.com. You'll find um, the links to this and to their page. I'm also um, about to get started on a Ghost Democracy um, blog article under my usual heading of brands I love. So be on the lookout for that. This is such good stuff. Nirvana in a bottle. TM. TM. I TM'd it right here. I declared the TM. Boom. And last is not a serum at all. It's a moisturizer from one of my fave brand discoveries of the year, the Glowmaker. Love Glowmaker, yay! Um, vitamin C moisturizer, it's got a 6% level of, I think it was, actually it was sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Um, sodium ascorbyl phosphate is a form of vitamin C, a salt form of vitamin C that has an effect on acne. 
So if you have a uh, concern for acne, you want to look for sodium ascorbophosphate as your vitamin C pick of the numerous vitamin C's out there. Um, so moisturizer, 6%, which the brand says um, is, uh, is the equivalent of of 15% bioavailability. That means that when it gets into skin, it converts and it's the equivalent of 15%. But you could say that probably about a lot of these. Um, 6%, it's a good level. You don't want to overdo it, obviously, because you overdo it. You see, it started to, it started to fade a bit. I'm really noticing like, like if I use too much vitamin C and even niacinamide, it like goes down. Uh, it, it, when it gets into the skin, my, my skin gets red and then it goes down. Um, really, really good stuff. It's an excellent moisturizer. There's uh, shea nut, uh, I'm sorry, shea butter. There's mango kernel butter. Um, there's sodium uh, hyaluronate in it. Um, and there's also rose hip, which as we know, is one of the best forms of, the, the best non-fragrant plant oils that has um, particular uh, anti-aging benefits to it. So really good moisturizer. It's, I was expecting it actually to be lighter on skin than it is. It, it looks like when you, when you, you know, when you dispense it, it looks light, but it actually applies like the, the shea butter and the mango nut butter are, are really, are really substantive. It's a, it's a nut, it's not rich. It's not too thick. It's just a good amount. It's a really good amount. And I just, this is a terrific moisturizer, honestly. Um, and head over to the blog. There's a, a giveaway going on. So you have a chance to win this. It's uh, it retails for 20 bucks. Good stuff. Bravo to the glow maker as well. Really, really good job. Anyway, that's it guys. I hope wherever you are, you're staying safe, that you're staying sane. I'm keeping myself sane by figuring out how to bake um, and just really make the best of this time so that it's not just memorable for all of the like trying things that are going on and sad things, you know, with the loss of loved ones. It's, it's awful. It's really awful. Um, so try to make it memorable and productive for, you know, positive things. All right. And do be sure to head over to the blog and enter the giveaway. All right. Ciao guys.